Hey, what's up guys? It's Trivudi. I wanted to make a quick video and share some good news with you guys. It looks like there will be an update tomorrow on the 17th and we are going to have an improvement to the current UI system in the game. You will now be able to say affirmative and negative to people, which is something that has always been in the game as far as I'm aware. When they changed the new communication system, they got rid of it, so you can no longer do that, and they're bringing it back. This was a big complaint early. There, I saw a lot of complaining about this new system, and I think most of the complaints have mellowed out personally. I wasn't too excited about it at first, but now I find that the quality of life while playing is much better, with the, especially with the ping system. But everyone was complaining about no affirmative, no negative command. World of Tanks acknowledged that very early and said that they were going to fix it. I saw NA staff say it was going to be fixed and well, it's here finally. I don't know how long it's been, but it's been a while. It's being fixed. Wargaming, thank you for that. You guys, it's something to look forward to. Another piece of good news, if you are a Clan Wars person or if you like playing competitive modes where you need to have a caller who has to constantly ping the map and give directions to the team, they are removing the ping spam limit on that. So as we know, they added a ping limit to the game because you used to be able to just toggle ping someone all game, ping, 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 ping. You know, someone gets pissed at you, they just ping you all game, which was really annoying. You'd have to block them in the battle. They fixed it, it's it's great not having that in randoms. But for Clan Wars people, they couldn't call games. They could only ping once or twice and they get blocked and it's hard for them to communicate to their players exactly where to be. That is being fixed tomorrow. Good news, guys. And one last thing I forgot to mention, I came back to edit this in here. They are changing it so that I, I hated this. I hated this. So before, if you pinged somewhere, you would say like, hey, the RD is here. And then you would press T and ping where is that? And it gives a little crosshair symbol. Well, that crosshair symbol goes away. It only stays for about five to eight seconds. And then in the chat, you can see that someone pinged a location, but you couldn't see where it was. So what these notes say is that the markers, and this is translating from Russian, attention here, moving here, or I'm aiming here, uh, will now display the sector of the minimap where it was pinged. So if you ping a spot in the chat, instead of just saying attention here, it'll say attention to A1, I'm aiming here. So you'll still kind of know the general location of what they're talking about if you mi visually miss the ping, which they, I think they've nailed it. Like with these three updates, this is gonna be, this is going to be really good. I'm excited. And I think they've got this system pretty much dialed in at this point. Very good news, guys. Another good piece of news for you guys is there is another, I guess this is like a, a public test. There's a test from the 18th through the 20th for the brawl mode, which is the 7v7 mode at tier 10. It's a mode that they've been working on for a while and they're trying to improve it. And they say that they're working towards making brawl a permanent mode in World of Tanks, but they've been trying to improve it by doing these little tests. I think this is the third test so far. I've missed the first two times it ran just because they announced it a day or two before. It's the 16th and they're saying it starts on the 18th and it lasts for two days. So I've missed every one and I hear a lot of good feedback about that. So guys, mark your calendar. If that's something that you've wanted to try out, you have a chance to do it on the 18th through the 20th. Don't don't miss that. I think this looks like an exciting mode, although I haven't played it. I can't speak personally. But I used to really like the 7v7 that you could do with tier 8. And what was it called? What, 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 what was that mode called? Tank Company? Yeah, I don't know. Guys, mark your calendars for that though. That looks like a really good opportunity to have some fun. It's a 7v7 format and it says that it has received a slight revamp and will feature a number of changes. One of the major changes this time, it looks like they are tweaking matchmaking so that the number of rental vehicles will be balanced per team. I think that there, there's a lot of complaining that if one team had more rental tanks, they they were likely to lose. So if you're a guy and you spawned in on a team with six rental tanks, they're thinking that you're probably going to lose that game because the people using the rental tanks don't play tier 10 and they're not experienced at tier 10. So they might be playing the rentals just to see what it's like. And meanwhile, here you are playing with a team that's experimenting and you're going to lose. So they're balancing that out. So hopefully that improves it for you guys. And that's it for this short update. Hopefully you guys like the news. Let me know what you think of the video. And uh, good luck out there, guys. Affirmative, negative. See you, <laughs> See you out there on the battlefield. Peace, guys. Yeah.